Hi guys, in this video we're going to deal with rational indices or sometimes called fractional indices. And this is where we have a base of our value and then it also has a fraction as its index. Now these are often used to represent thirds when we're using them. So a to 1 over n is the same as writing the root to the power of n of a. If we had a value at the top of our fraction, so for example a to the power of b over n, that would be the same as writing the nth root of a to the power of b. So our rule for fractional or rational indices is a to the power of 1 over n is equal to the nth root to the square root of a, or a to the power of m over n is equal to the nth root of this a to the power of m. So we can use this when we're trying to simplify our roots or we're dealing with roots that aren't square roots as we have been dealing with most of the time for our third work. So let's have a look at an example of how we'd simplify fractional indices into thirds and vice versa. So for our first example here, we have, so for this first example, let's have a look at our third here that we have. So we have three square root 125t to the 12. Now that can also be written as the cubic root of 125 times the cubic root of t to the power of 12. The cubic root we can do 3, so we're looking for 3 values that multiply together, so 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 times 3 to the cubic root of t12. So that means we have three of those, that's a cubic root, so that for that is answer is five. And then we can simplify our t to the power of 12 to three using our rule. So our n value is three, our m value is 12, and our a is t. So we're going to end up with t to the power of 12 over three. Now we can simplify that last fraction as five times t to the power of 4 because 12 divided by 3 equals 4 which gives us a final simplified answer of 5t4. Now for our second example we have m to the power of 1 over 5. So let's expand our brackets first. So we have m to the power of 1 over 5 to the power of 10. And that's going to then equal, so we can multiply that by m1 over 5 times 10 will equal m10 over 5, which will be equal to m to the power of 2. And that will be our simplified one. So that's how we can simplify using our rational or fractional index law.